Welcome to this Easy Backgrounds Dandelion Acrylic Painting Tutorial that is suitable for beginners. Hi, I'm Karen Rice and welcome to my acrylic painting channel. For a full list of all the materials I'm going to use in this demonstration, along with the link for the photograph, please see the description below. So, shall we get started? I'm using a primed box canvas and I'm going to paint a really simple background using some black, red and a splodge of yellow with a large flat one inch brush. I'm going to blend these colours all together to get that lovely dark background that you can see in the reference photograph in the top right hand corner. So just generously just blend these colours and you'll get a lovely warm black here. The yellow sort of blends with the black to give a really dark green. So it's not just a flat black background, you've got a little bit of depth in there as well. You can see I've covered my background. I'm using a scourer and I'm cutting a circle out. And this is to use to print for the dandelions, just to make everything so much simpler, especially if you're a beginner starting out in acrylics. So I'm just using this now. I've got my little palette here and I'm using some buff titanium, but you can use white paint with a little bit of raw sienna mixed in there. And I'm going for the centre one straight away. I'm not doing any drawing. I'm just painting shapes here by printing printing. Look at that. It looks amazing. I mean, you could literally do this with the scourer. So I'm painting the dandelion on the left there, just trying to gauge where I want to paint it. So I'm printing quite firmly. And what happens with the scourer, you get all this lovely texture, but you also get the black coming through in the background. So the background is playing a role here. And with this particular dandelion to the right here, I've only sort of pressed to the lower part, left the upper part unpainted as it is in the photograph. There's not as much detail there. I'm painting this little dandelion with more of a smaller splodge. So I've only concentrated on pressing my fingers towards the centre of that scourer. So you've got a smaller dandelion. As you can see there, I've squeezed out some yellow and some red. And I'm going to be painting the dandelions themselves, just gauging where they are. I want to make sure there's enough space. Um, there but the beauty of acrylics is if I go wrong here just wet it with some clean water wipe it off and start again it's easier than using a rubber so I'm just using a small round brush and painting on the petals here using this yellow paint wet on dry and now I'm making up an orangey color because it's quite a warm color the dandelions and I'm painting this in the sort of center there with my round brush just trying to keep everything loose and I'll do the same Thing for the dandelion on the right hand side. As you can see there, I'm just painting this seed head here, this dead dandelion, just sort of painting in that light bit at the top. And then just a few little marks here using a bit of the buff titanium and some white. I'm painting in some stems now. I'm varying the colours of the stems. Some are a little bit warmer, some are a little bit more brighter green, just mixing it up. But if you want to, you can do them all the same colour. I won't tell. I'm now printing on some white paint on top of the dried dandelion here just to create a little bit more light and texture and tapping it on this right bottom one here as well. It's so much fun to be able to use a tool like this. It's not cheating. We're painting. We're painting shapes here to create the texture and the detail that we want. The painting has dried and I'm actually using a light limey green to paint the sort of inside of the dandelion. You've got some lovely sort of subtle colours 
here and there. I'm using a little bit of brown mixed with a touch of the red here and painting some of the warm darks in the center here, wet on dry using a small round brush. And just enjoy it, just paint the centers there. You know, they're sort of almost a little circle. I'm sort of tapping the brush in, stippling away to create these marks in the center. using a warm brown here the red and the green actually mixed together make a lovely brown and I'm using my round brush here just to paint some warmer sort of um, brownish colors in the center of these dandelions here wet on dry and I'm painting wet on dry here some light white color at the top um, mixed with a little bit of the buff titanium as well just to get a little bit of highlight here I'm really sort of building up the details and already the um, painting is coming to life a lovely limey green there yellow and some green there with a touch of white to create some a lovely light stem there and I'm using a little bit of that color on the sort of petals there on the dandelion and just making everything really free using this very small round brush and painting a little bit of that limey green on the left dandelion as well and using a little bit of really light yellow color now much brighter to paint quite loosely some of the petals on this center dandelion here really expressing myself with the brush strokes trying to change the direction all wet on dry As you can see there, I'm painting this um, right hand dandelion here with a mixture of the yellows, using a little bit of red to warm it up as I did in the center dandelion there to make more of an orangey color and really sort of kind of building up the detail there, painting a bit of white in the center of this right hand dandelion with this small round brush, wet on dry, and actually just sort of building up more of a feather like touch on the dandelions now. So I'm using the shape that I made with the scourer and just sort of building up with that now, just painting with white and just sort of feather like touch to create the sort of the edges of the dandelion, really quite a fuzzy edge. I'm just building up some of the light on this stem here just to tidy it up as well. You can vary your colors as well. I've added a little bit of red to the yellow there to make it a uh, warm it up a little bit. Um, you could use raw sienna as well or a burnt sienna just to put that warmer color on there. So I've really varied the colors on the stems working wet on dry.
just using this really small round brush again using white titanium painting wet on dry some of the marks now on this dandelion here and you can see just by building up in these layers how much that you know working sort of dark to light very dark background um, how the light now really pops forward and really creates depth as well I'm painting the little flyaway pappus um, with the little seed there and it's really effective in the dark background there I'm using that very small round brush it's a real detailer brush and just using the white titanium wet on dry If in doubt, always wait for your acrylic painting to dry before you layer on top. So this area is dry here. I'm using cadmium yellow painting, again, wet on dry. Just some of the lighter areas of the petal. I've even added some white now to those, to that yellow to make it even lighter at the tips. It's quite dark in the center and it's really to exaggerate that. So I'm really building up now my lights, especially in the dandelions using white and sort of really feathering my brush over these sort of printed uh, marks that I made with the scourer. <laughs>
as you can see, I'm continually building up my lights now and details. When you're painting your lights, make sure that you don't paint all over your mid-tones and dark tones. Half close your eyes sometimes and you can see those lights, mid-tones and darks. I'm actually watering down some white titanium here with my small round brush. Everything is dried. I'm just going to spatter just at the edge of the dandelion here and there to create some sparkle and texture and also to finish off this painting. <laughs> One of the great things of doing a dark background like this is if you've got any mistakes or things you don't like, I've just got some black paint on my little brush here and I'm just finessing these stems and just tidying them up. So if you've got any splodges or marks you don't like, all you have to do is that and just blend it out wet on dry. It makes backgrounds so much easier in this way and I'm just watering down a little bit of the yellow as well the cadmium yellow and spattering around the yellow dandelions there as well just to give them a little bit of sparkle so here is the finished painting I'm really pleased with it especially just using that sort of dark background to begin with making it really easy and then printing with the scourer to create the look of dandelions no drawing involved at all just lovely free expressive painting using a limited palette Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments section below. And if you haven't already and you want to see more tutorials like this, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel where you'll get updates of my latest tutorials. Thank you again for watching. Happy painting. Bye for now.